Everybody is Ty Inspire and welcome back to the channel. We're glad to have you today because I have a special guest. I have my friend, Kamishra. <laughs> she is here with us today and um, she is going to talk to us about Ghana and about <laughs> how she got here, why she came and um, yeah, it's gonna be some good stuff. So make sure you tune in. If it's your first time joining today, make sure you subscribe. subscribe. Yes, hit the <laughs> like button and share with your friends and join the family, all right? So let's start, let's talk. So, you um, know, we, we have a little bit of a story, <laughs> you know? Story. Like, yeah, so Kamisha is a, is a subscriber mm -hmm. and um, we met last, March? Was it March? I think it was March. Must have yeah. been last March that we, we met for lunch. Yes. And our lunch date turned into a crazy... <laughs> We're stuck in Ghana. Yes, exactly. <laughs> mm. <laughs> We're having lunch. And we're, we're talking about this whole COVID situation and all of a sudden that, um, you know, that president of America at the time got on the TV yeah. and got on TV and said, like, if you're out of the country, you better get home now or you won't be coming home. Yeah. And um, <laughs> I think Kamisha's uh, phone started ringing. My phone started ringing and we just jumped up and ran to the airport, didn't we? Yeah. Did we go to the airport? We together? did. We did. Oh, we did. That's we right. Did. I forgot. We did go to the airport together. We did. Yes. Oh wow! I forgot all of that. Yeah. It was. It was crazy. Wow, that's we were right. Panicking that's right. and um, trying to figure out what are we gonna do because we both had tickets Wait, to leave. I think we. I think I had gotten a phone call from home or mm -hmm. I got a message from home. Yep. That's what it was, and we ended up checking. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's right. Yeah. We ended up checking. We were like, whoa, what's going on? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so. we found out we were stuck. <laughs> yes. So That's right, that's right. Yeah. Oh wow. It's interesting you remembered all that. I actually forgot. <laughs> I, I forgot all that. Your, your memory is real good. Oh well, <laughs> sometimes I guess. Hey. Oh that's, cool. um, that's cool. But yeah, so that is kind of what brought us together. Yes. And uh, we have kept in touch all this time and yes. She was able to leave. Yeah. Eventually. I did. And I'm I've never left. So <laughs> here we are. Here we are. I'm back. Here we are. And she is now back. Okay. So exactly. talk to us about why you chose Ghana. Like why did you even come to Ghana in the first place? Um, wow, that's actually a long story. Okay. <laughs> well, we can make it you know, I'm gonna the, I'm gonna condense it. Part. Yeah. <laughs> it started my journey to Ghana started before I had children. That was a good 20 something years ago. Mm -hmm. um, me and my then boyfriend mm -hmm. um, were together and he took me to an Akom. And Akom is a spiritual tradition that actually comes out of Ghana. Okay. But he took me to Akom in the States, it was in New York. Mm -hmm. And when I first went there, I was just like, oh wow, I'm home. Wow. That's how I felt when I went there. It just is like a connection. It was like, um, something that I felt that I've been missing and needed mm -hmm. and I've been going to a home ever since wow. so it's a tradition that actually comes out of Ghana okay. um, from the Akan people okay um, in the um, well, I, I don't know exactly where they are but it's come from the Akan people so I've been practicing that there in the States for years mm -hmm. and had in the back of my head, always like wanting to come to Ghana, yeah. but never really having someone to come with me and never really actually seeing it as something as possible. Because right. people would come to the, to the continent and the prices yeah. to come to the continent was always so, so big, yeah. was mm -hmm. always so expensive. And I was like, I don't see me ever going. Mm -hmm. And then a girlfriend of mine was going. And she comes all the time. This was three years ago. She was coming and she said, oh yeah, I found out, you know, through Grapevine, cause she, she didn't tell me she was coming, but I found out she was going. And I was like, Ghana. <laughs> I had just gotten my, my, um, what do you call it? The, the taxes. No, I had oh, just okay. got my taxes oh, okay. back. Okay. So I had some money in my hand. I was like, 
I could use this. Yeah. I could go to Ghana. Go. I was like, yeah. you're going to Ghana? I was like, I want to go. Okay. I was like, I want to go to Ghana. I was like, can I go with you? And she was like, sure. Mm -hmm. I was like, really? <laughs> because this is her vacation. Mm -hmm. So now I'm coming with her. So now her vacation is kind of turning into, I have to help you. Right, right. <laughs> and I was like, can I go? So me and another girlfriend of mine, it was our first time going. And two other sister friends of ours who had come and gone and come and gone a lot were going. So we ended up traveling with them. Mm. So my desire to come started years ago, right. but my I'm coming was three years ago. Got it. Okay. Yeah. So I was so really excited. It started with the spirituality. It um, did. It started with the spirituality. You came here and what did you think about the country? Um, my first time here, I fell in love. Yeah. I did, I really did. And my girlfriend that took me, she looked at me this year when I told her I was going back without her. She's like, I saw it. I saw you fall in love with God when you first came. I was yeah. like, yes, I yeah. fell in love with God. That's <laughs> I was like, right. I'm coming here. I'm moving here. I'm staying. Yeah. <laughs> From that time on, I fell in love and I was like, oh, I'm staying. I'm coming here. They so were really happy. It happened. Yes. Like, you know, so many people ask this question about, oh, did you find love in Ghana? And, and yeah. you have that story now. You found love and you're married. And so, um, what's next? Um, well, even before I was going to get married, before mm -hmm. I made that decision, like, yes, I'm going to do that. I was coming to God. <laughs> yeah, of course. No, I was already having in my plans. Yeah, so yeah. this time I was actually able to go and look at some land. Um, and I did do the paperwork of getting that. So I have to go pick up my allocation papers. And then they say a couple of weeks after the, what do they call it? So it's the allocation papers and then it's the indentures, land indentures. Okay. They said that'll come a couple of weeks after. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go pick up the allocation papers and I want to go see the actual plot where I'm going to be situated and all that good stuff. Okay. So we did get land. Okay. Um, so talking about this land, mm -hmm. let's talk about it a little bit because my goodness, we get so many questions. I get you guys yeah. want to know <laughs> all the time about the free land um, in Ghana. Is there free land? Is there not free land? And the answer is kind of. <laughs> well, actually, no, I'm not even going to say kind of. I'm going to say yes. The, the land is free. The land is free. Yes. But yes. is there any cost associated with this? There are still some costs associated with it. That's right. Very minimal. Did I say minimal? Minimal. It's okay. <laughs> Very minimal, minimal. <laughs> in comparison to what you would pay for land. Right. Um, what I first heard about it last year, and I wanted to go see about it. It's called Asebo. It's um, an area in the central region, mm -hmm. and it's land that's owned by the chieftaincy of the Asebo, oh wow, traditional land council. Okay. I might say that, that might be a little wrong, okay. but it's owned by the chieftaincy of Asebo, okay. of that area. So it's owned by the chief. And what they decided to do um, as part of the year of return, what they decided to do was allocate, because it was land that wasn't being used, it's raw land. Mm -hmm. They allocated a lot of land to diasporans to come home. Mm -hmm. And people thought it was a forest because who gives away stuff for free? No one does that. Right, right, right exactly. But it's not a forest. Right. It's, it's, really, it's really allocated for people to come home. People, and not just like Americans are, people from the UK, but people in the diaspora as well. Right, right. Because there are some Ghanaians that left, that they went out back. to the diaspora. So we want it to be a mix of people who don't live here and people who have lived here, maybe went home and, and we they encouraging you to come back. That's right. Because sometimes people leave the country with the, the their mindset is to come back, but they find themselves like, life happens and right. they find themselves stuck abroad stuck abroad they right. have families and it's right. not that easy yeah. and maybe they sold their land here to go there yeah you know so right. so it's, it's, not, them an it's not necessarily that easy so it gives them the, exactly that option to come yeah. back right um and so they offered they what they did was allocate the land and they plotted it out already so all the land is already plotted yeah. it's plotted out it's um they pillared them they they got somebody to do the surveying, all the stuff that they would come that they would do 
to get raw land ready mm -hmm. is what they did. Okay. So when it's already already plotted out, all of okay. those funds were paid for in advance. Okay. So what we're doing when we get a plot of land, the amount, the, the cost that it would, whatever it costs, like when you buy land, whatever it will cost you mm -hmm. to go get somebody to survey it, to right. make sure that the land is free and clear, mm -hmm. to make sure that the land is pillared, make sure that, you know, this is the plot of land, whatever paperwork that comes along with it, mm -hmm. the cost for the indentures, the cost for the surveying, the cost for the, um, the land allocation papers, all of that cost was already put out up front. Okay. Okay. And what we're doing you're is reimbursing that. that. Right. You're paying a piece so of we're that. reimbursing that. So there's cost that's associated with the each size plot of land. Mm -hmm. So it's an eighty by eighty. You can get eighty by hundred, or you can get a hundred by hundred. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And the first portion of land that was surveyed, pillared, allocated, and all that other stuff—not allocated, but you know, surveyed out—it's mm -hmm. almost all purchased okay um it's good it's almost all given out and they have another plot that they're going to do after this is all done then they're going to do the next section so the first section is they they are still plots available but it's not that much okay um so it's gonna be a mm -hmm. nice big community yeah. that um will be developed by mm -hmm. the people who are purchasing purchasing the land, the land. Oh, I shouldn't or say purchasing or receiving the, the land right rec yeah, receiving yeah. the land receiving the land. um so you do have to have the mindset that you're getting this land you're just getting land that's been untouched so you have to go out there and you have to be a part of the process of getting the water out there lights yeah. internet you know poles, so there are poles this. out there that they can tap into there are water lines that can be tapped into mm -hmm. but it's not it's raw land so the people who have the land have to come together and work as a community to actually get the piping done to get the roads paved to get the electricity brought out there mm -hmm. so the land is real uh, it is raw land and there are additional costs, but it's not, you're not paying for the for cost the of land. the land. The land, they're giving it to you and you can get a plot of land. Now, what they don't want you to do, because there's some rules that come along with it. Mm -hmm. You have to be of African descent because it was done to bring people who were descendants of enslaved Africans back home and to people who are in the diaspora who want to come back home, who were Ghanaians and maybe left and want to come back home to come home. Uh, and for people on the continent as well. Yes. If you're already in Ghana and you would like to get that, you, you have that ability too. Right. You just have to meet those criteria. And if you look on the website, you'll see yeah. the 10, I think it's 10 rules, 10 criteria that you have to meet. So once you have met those criteria, um, a good moral standing, of course, they don't want you to you know, have, they're, they're not trying to have and felonies and criminals yeah, coming here. Right. No, they want people who were not criminals in the country to come here. Yeah, and you want to be productive members of society, exactly. here, right? And um, and you definitely have to want to be a part of a community because exactly. you're going to have to work with those people um, that are in your community mm -hmm. to get the things you need there. Exactly. So um, it sounds like an amazing opportunity. I will put some links in the description yeah, box the to the website because this is our or her account of it. So. Um, you need to find out everything <laughs> you from can, the website look, on you can your go own. From the website, you can yes. go on your own. But this is her experience and what you know she's done. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it's amazing, guys. It, it like, really is. It, it's, and it's an and, amazing um, opportunity. There are some numbers to the different people that are helping people go through the process there. Mm -hmm. I've worked with um, Kwame, Kwame Ni Toto, and I've worked with Obed. I'm not sure of his last name. I can't remember. <clears throat> I've worked with Obed, mostly with Kwame. Mm -hmm. And those were the two that I was working with that helped me mm -hmm. through with everything. But I got those contacts via Sister Ya from San okay. Kofa Repatriation Assistance Program. Okay. So she's the one. She's I, was, I went to her and I was like, you know, I'm interested in this. And she gave me, she said, yes, go out there, go see the land. Mm -hmm. Here's this person's number. Here, let me get you in contact with them. So she was like a middleman between yeah. me and them, getting Got to it. those two. 
those two brothers. So it was she's great. Yeah, yeah, she's been doing a lot here. She does. She does a lot <laughs> she's of work. Been doing a lot with residency, mm -hmm. um, with with now this land and, and yeah. some other things. Just bringing people together from the diaspora too. Yeah. So she does that. Bringing people together yeah. with people from Ghana. Right. To be like a networking, exactly. bridging the gap, bridging yeah. the gap type. Yes, of, and that's yeah. what we need more mm -hmm. of, guys. You guys know that that's my passion. So yeah. So what yeah. a story. <laughs> <laughs> so she found love. She got land, <laughs> guys. She's living the dream, right? I, I gotta. Is, I have the plan, dream. and I'm working on it bit by bit. <laughs> As they say the here, kind of proud, proud, small, small, uh, little, little. little. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm, I'm working on it. Yeah. You know, you have a plan, and that's what you need to do with anything that you want in life. That's right. You, you, you yeah. fall in love with something. It don't have to be the continent. It could be anything. That's you realize, right. Oh, wow, what, this is what I want to do. You know, to support do myself it. in life. That's I right. want to. Make scarves. I love crocheting. Right. You know, you make a plan. Commit to it. <laughs> and small, and work that little plan. by little, you work that work plan, that plan. And you, you go through it. Don't just have it in your head as a dream. It starts as a dream. That's right. You got to have, you have to have if a vision of it in your head. No work, then it's just and a dream. It, exactly. If there's no work behind you don't want that, that. <laughs> you don't want to stay at the planning stage. Exactly. You're planning forever. Right. It's a paralysis of analysis. You don't want to keep exactly. doing that. You want to analyze, you want to plan, and then you got to move. You got to work right. on it. You got to start working on it and chipping away. Okay, I did this. Okay, I did this. Okay, I did this. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I did this. And you keep working at it. It'll, it'll come to pass. If that's what you truly want, you're going to work at it and make it come to pass. Yeah. <laughs> it's, so such, it's, it's such a great thing. And I'm so happy and proud of you and happy for you. Um, so. So guys, I, I know you're gonna have lots of questions. <laughs> so go ahead, throw them at me. Um, and you can also talk to Kamisha. Mm -hmm. She has a YouTube channel. So you can go to her YouTube channel, follow her and show her some love guys. Mm -hmm. And um, throw your questions to us, whatever yes, you have to say. Yes, questions down below. Yes, please mm -hmm. let Answer us those know. Questions. Yes, 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 the best yes. that we can for what we know and what we don't know, but yeah. So thank you for coming. I'm gonna miss you when you're gone. So I, I can't wait for you to get back. You hurry, you hurry. So we're definitely yeah. happy to have you here on the thank channel. Thank you for having me. Yes. <laughs> thank you for your support. And thank um, you. we will catch up with you later. Yes. Yeah. We'll see you on the next time around. Yes. All right, guys. So make sure you support, comment below, like, subscribe, and share oh. with your friends. Kamishima's Corner. The yes. traveling spiritual sofa. Okay. So I always soak wherever I go. Oh, there you go. There I you go. soak wherever I go. Yes. I, I've made soap in Ghana. Yes. Good. And we all need soap, right? Exactly. It's something that you just, you have to have. Exactly. So that's a great business to have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And it's fun. Yeah. <laughs> all Thank right, guys. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Subscribe to the channel. <laughs> Click the notifications bell. Yes. Comment, like, share the video. <laughs> She's amazing. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. All right, guys. Until next time. Bye-bye. Until next time. Yeah. Now I believe.